Welcome to Meteorology 101. Visit our website at meteorology101.com. Clouds form when the atmosphere is saturated. Saturation occurs when the air holds the maximum amount of water vapor possible. There are two ingredients needed for clouds to become visible, water and nuclei. At saturation, the temperature is equal to the dew point temperature. The vapor pressure is equal to the saturation vapor pressure, and the relative humidity is 100%. Saturation is a state of equilibrium. This graphic shows that water is constantly evaporating and condensing. The amount of water vapor molecules in the air is constant, but the actual molecules are constantly changing their state. Cloud condensation nuclei are particles on which water vapor condenses to form water droplets. Cloud droplets are initiated by the condensation of water vapor on cloud condensation nuclei. This graphic shows how cloud droplets continue to grow by water vapor, condensing onto the droplet. The difference in saturation vapor pressures between the droplet and its surrounding environment will govern cloud growth. Each droplet will have a different saturation vapor pressure based upon its concentration. This is called the solute effect. Droplets consisting of higher concentrations of solution will have a lower saturation vapor pressure than more pure droplets. Conversely, droplets consisting of lower concentrations of solution will have a higher saturation vapor pressure than less pure droplets. The more water vapor a droplet has the higher the vapor pressure. Vapor pressure flow is from high to low, so if two droplets of the same size but different purities exist side by side in a cloud, water vapor will evaporate from the more pure droplet, and condense onto the less pure droplet. This will cause the more pure droplet to shrink, and the less pure droplet to grow. Droplets that are smaller and more tightly curved, will have a higher saturation vapor pressure than a larger droplet, which will have a flatter surface. Droplets that are larger will grow at the expense of the smaller droplet. Smaller droplets will shrink due to evaporation and the larger droplet will grow due to condensation. Once droplets grow large enough to fall they can collide with other droplets, and merge to form even larger droplets. Coalescence means the droplets, which collide with each other, will stick together. This is the most efficient method of droplet growth. Collision coalescence efficiency. The first factor is residence time in the cloud. The longer the droplet remains in the cloud the greater chance it has to interact with other droplets. Thick clouds provide a greater distance for the droplet to fall. Updrafts within the cloud can bring droplets to upper portions of the cloud. The second factor is the variable speed that droplets fall. If droplets are falling at different rates, the faster ones will catch up and collide with the slower ones. Larger droplets fall at a faster rate than smaller ones. There is a wide spectrum of droplet sizes, therefore, variable fall velocities. Once droplets grow large enough to fall they can collide with other droplets, and merge to form even larger droplets. Coalescence means the droplets, which collide with each other, will stick together. This is the most efficient method of droplet growth. Ice nuclei. These, similar to CCN, are necessary for liquid or vapor to form ice crystals. Typical natural ice nuclei is clay particles. Water droplets at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius are called supercooled and exist in the liquid state. If they encounter an ice crystal, they will automatically freeze. Supercooled water droplets are very common at temperatures above negative 10 degrees Celsius. Ice crystals will grow at the expense of water droplets. Once the crystal grows large enough, it undergoes a process similar to collision coalescence. The crystal can collide with cloud droplets, and if the cloud is colder than 0 degrees Celsius, the droplets will freeze on contact. The crystal can also collide with other ice crystals. This process is responsible for the formation of large snowflakes. These videos, although short, take hours to create. Please consider clicking the thumbs up and sharing this video.